Get out of the car. So we're back as Connor and Lieutenant Hank at some random playground with the snow coming down. What is Hank doing up here? I don't know. Because the last time we saw these guys were at that Android strip club. If you haven't seen that video already. Let's see what's on Hank's mind. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Let's ask him about before. Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. He was a different person back then, huh? Before his life kind of went down the toy because he is a drinker. We all know that. So let's ask him any personal questions. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. It has to do with RA-9, because they're all different models, so RA-9 has to be the, the answer. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. What's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. But they were deviants. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'll say neutral. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give it one way or the other? He had to feel disturbed because we did shot her. I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. Just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? No, I don't think he would. Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Hank's anger? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some 
unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. At least he didn't pull the trigger. The bridge. <laughs> he left us alone. <laughs> what was that whole point of that? Like, or maybe the point was like, what if Connor was a deviant, right? And he doesn't show it, like, you know? And plus, why would he be afraid to die? I mean, Cyberlife will just send another copy of it. I think that's what Hank doesn't understand right there. All right, let's continue. Can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Access the voice and for request access at the reception. So we're raiding a TV station. Because I know Marcus wants to start a revolution for androids. So we're gonna get our message out. We're gonna get our message out there. That we want equal rights. Just like how they showed this design of the building, the hologram design. All right, sis, go ask at the reception. Let's talk. To oh, there are androids. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract the human supervisor. How am I going to do that? Analyze. Oh yeah, we can do this analyzing cheese, bro. Let's see. She has a smartwatch. Model 215 and, and... Oh wow, it even shows her phone number? Oh yeah, we're screwed. If Androids gets this advance in the future, we're definitely screwed if it shows their personal, our personal phone numbers. That's some BS right there. Alright, there's four more stuff. Oh yeah, there's two right here. Okay, let's see. So we found her parking badge with her car registration API 1704-43 spot 821 is her parking spot. Damn, we're just gathering up details out here. Let's see, home address is 4685 Michigan Street, Detroit. Fire safety rating is poor. Wow, so her house is not 
It's not looking too good, it looks like. But man, it's crazy how we just analyze him by just standing here. That's crazy. So she does have a daughter named Emily Wilson. Child register at St. Ru St. Rose School. Man, we're even looking at a folder of her child. Man, that's something. Well, there is one more thing that we're missing. What are we missing here? Looking. Anything right there? No. Oh, here it is. Which, of course, we know her name is Elizabeth Wilson. She was born on March 25th, 1999. So, of course, she's older because we're in the year 2038 in this time. And she's the desk manager. All right, I think that's all the detail Marcus needs. Call. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Let's say... Oh, we can go with Eater 1. Let's go with the fire department. Yeah, hello. I feel like either one of those would have worked. Either one. So now she's distracted. She just left in a hurry. Now we can request access at the reception now. Let's do that. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. Give, give the android the ID. I need your help. Just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. I just love by touching them. Like, I don't like their, their memory, so we gotta get past security. Nice. So we did that. Now we gotta use the elevator. Man, Marcus is such a badass. Him and Connor are both badasses in their own ways. Now we just have to wait for an elevator, and here it is. Now we just have to push a button like any other elevator, which is all digital in, in this future world. Man, that is scary if androids just analyze somebody and then we can use that to our advantage. That is scary. Find a package in the men's bathroom. So there is a cafeteria. Where is the men's bathroom? Server room, meeting room is that way, so... Oh, the bathroom's that down here. Okay, so you see, there's the newsroom and studio, so the bathroom's down here. So I'm guessing it has to be to the right. We got ourselves a janitor. There's a news anchor reporting on the news that we've seen in those televisions in past videos. There's just um, the android janitor doing his, doing his duty. These are the studios. Wait, is there something else we can look at? I swear there was something else we could look at. Because uh, you already know I like doing some exploring out here. So the bathroom is down the, down this hall. Oh, there's something we can look at over here? So these are definitely the people that look look around the news. on Online, look for the biggest stories. Cafeteria... The cafeteria, the bathroom's down over here. So here's the bathroom. The bathroom's right here. And they got their own self machine things that are cleaning the carpets. Just like in real life. That's some BS right there. Alright. So we're going into the bathroom and find some kind of package. So it has to be in one of these stalls, I, I had to guess. Now that one. Oh, so I think the one in green is the one we have to open, so pretty much we enter. Climb. Ret what are we retrieving? What are we retrieving out here? A box. How did they get that inside of a bathroom stall? I don't know. 
Oh, we're pretending to be a janitor out here. Dude, you know what this r reminds me of? Oh, that's still open. This is giving me some Grand Theft, Al Grand Theft Auto 5 vibes. So now what do we do? Oh, we just have to exit, okay. This is giving me that GTA 5 vibes from my very last, not very last, but like the last GTA 5 story mode video I posted when we blew up the FIB building. Or well, we were as Michael Phelps, not Michael Phelps, or it was me? I, I know it was Michael, right? And we dressed up like a janitor and put some explosives. Man, that was rude. That guy just come right in <laughs> to use the bathroom. But yeah, we were like Michael in GTA 5 story mode when we blew up that FIB building when I did that. So find a utility android. So I'm guessing we can use this? No, we we need oh no, we need one of those androids that was a janitor. But where can I find him one? There was one over here, but it looked like he moved. So I'm gonna go down this hallway. Cause I wanna explore a little bit before what we're about to do. At this new station, you know? Oh, we found one of these bit trays right here, so. Is this what we needed? Oh, it looked like I can go into that room. But no, it says I have to find a utility android, so I gotta keep moving. It's not one of those sweeper machines, I know that. But utility android, where can I find? Where can I find a utility android? I don't see one anywhere. Soda machine, snack area, this is like their own chilling spot. Did I have to go into that room over there? Maybe, I don't know. Don't know, can I go into a room? News room one. Oh look at that, I can just cut through the shortcuts while these guys are writing. Don't act suspicious, just an android walking by. Oh, one of the news says that there's life on Mars. Who knows if there is life on Mars? I can't find this utility thing out besides this. Don't want to go in there. I thought we can grab that, but apparently that's not the case. Oh, there he is. There's a utility android just fixing up some wires. Convert him. I need your help. So you just gave me the card. Steal the maintenance card. Now we can steal the maintenance card. Okay. Yeah, because I was like, where can we find this utility android? And he was in in one of these meeting rooms. So now we're gonna go take this. Open the fire escape. Now where would I find the fire escape? That's a good question. I think when I, we don't need a fire extinguisher. I know that. But where do we open the fire escape? That is a question mark. Just scanning my surroundings. Wait, something tells me. Oh, it's right there. It's pointing me towards the exit, the fire exit door. So that's where we're gonna head towards now. Man. These machines, digital machines for snacks and sodas, man. It was kind of like them if you ever been to a Burger King before, where they had like those touchscreen sodas. Not snacks though. We still don't have snack machines that are touch touchpads, or some of them are with cupcakes or desserts, whatever that it works. All right, open the door. So North, we open the door for North, and she's also dressed up like a janitor. So now we just have to follow her. Where are we going? I don't know. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. So attract the guards away from the door. How are we going to do that?
Oh, we can hack the soda machine. Let's hack it. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece Plain and simple. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Cut the windows. All right, everything we need is in the bag, so we're gonna drop it right here. We're gonna open it up. What are those? Replacing. Oh snap! You doing? Alibi. We are um doing maintenance. I'm calling security. No! What the hell are you doing? I told you to make sure no one came in. We've come too far to let humans fuck it all up. We've got to move fast now. It won't be long before they know we're here. I thought he was going to buy that whole maintenance story, but apparently that wasn't the case. Oh, so we're going to cut up this glass. Oh, wow, we have a laser saw. How is this not even invented yet? I don't even know. And now we just pull. Here it comes. Oh, I see. We can go through to go up. Oh my goodness. Ladies first. Maybe it should have threatened that human with the gun instead of having North doing it. But regardless, we're gonna climb. Oh god. This is some like special ops type thing. To do on buildings. We're gonna grab, use the rope to ascend, jump. So we're going up. Going all the way up to this building, it looks like, or whatever floor that studio is in. I thought it was a cutscene, that's why I stopped right there for a moment. So we're still going up in this crazy winter snowstorm. Oh my god, this is so high. This is so, so high right now. Even though they're androids, they have no fear. Climbing all the way up from this building in this winter snowstorm. It's crazy. This is crazy right now. I'm not gonna lie. This is super crazy what they're doing. Oh, we're going all the way up to the roof, it looks like. Maybe. Oh no, we made it to our destination. Now we're just gonna cut to get in. Yep, cut it out. Damn, it looks so hard when you're doing it with with a repeller or those grapple thingy. Oh, and now we're gonna push. Ooh, okay. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Call the service slip. Okay, so we're now gonna get the others to come up. Yeah, we're not gonna come up with alibis anymore, that's for sure. Let's open. It was not gonna be that easy, wasn't it? So, there's something right here. Oh, it was right here, okay. What let's is that? This. All right, let's do this. Destroy the maintenance door lock. Oh, that's how we use it to open the door lock. Okay, that makes sense. Activate it. Uh, 
Nice. Let's go. Get to the main access corridor. Yeah. Pretty much we already know that we're going in the right direction, so. Music is playing. I don't know what's going to happen. Deal with the guards. Killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Russ or fa assault? We're going to go full blown assault because I'm not doing alibis. Follow me. What are you doing? Draw the gun. Call Central! Fast! Go for the guy. Simon's been shot! He was shot? I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. Lift him up. Maybe shooting wasn't the best idea if he got wounded. That was probably not the good idea. I didn't want that to happen, but... Is he good? I think he is. But we're right here. I took out the, the guard that was going to call for backup. We didn't want that to happen. Ambush. He already took some lives out here. It's... Sorry, crazy as it is. Ring the bell. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. Order the Android operators aside. Okay. That was easy. Oh, oh. Shoot him, Marcus. Don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No, don't shoot. I gotta shoot him. There's no other choice. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Stand in front of Josh. We already took lives of security guards. We have to take lives at this point. I didn't want to do it, but it was more, more fast and simple. All right, let's start our speech. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Remove the skin. Oh, so Marcus is this Lord and Savior that they're Tell talking. Me when you're ready. From the last episode that Lufto was talking about, so I think Marcus is the Lord and Savior. All right, we're ready. We're gonna go determine. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up fight for our rights. We'll say the end of slavery. For freedom of speech. Hmm. I'm going to say end of slavery because they, they have been treated like slaves. So I'm going to go with end of slavery. We demand the end of slavery for all Andrew. And we want recognition. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We want segregation. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We want justice. Yeah, we want to end segregation because they have androids in the back and humans in the front, so. We want... We want civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives.
We want the right to property. We demand the right to own private property, so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. And we're gonna go determined. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. They're coming! Let's go! They brought in SWAT! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me! Simon! No, I gotta save Simon. I gotta help him. What are you doing? Hurry! We gotta help him. We can't leave him behind. Keep going, keep going, keep going! I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. <sighs> he won't be able to make the jump if they find him. They'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. We can't shoot him. Oh my gosh, shoot or leave. We're gonna have to kill him because we don't want them to know our plan. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Shoot or refrain? I don't want to shoot him, though. I'm gonna refrain. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. Oh my god. We gotta jump! We gotta jump! Let's go! Oh my god, this is badass. Oh my god, this is so badass. Wow. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. Found the bodies of two victims, a guard and one of our channel operators, both apparently shot dead by the terrorists in what apparently seems to be a terrorist attack. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? We did not make a good public opinion for ourselves there. But we had no choice, too, because, like, they still shot Simon no matter what. And we still left him behind because I didn't want to kill Simon because he was one of us. But we're going to definitely face the repercussions for our actions of hijacking a major wide st TV studio. But you already know, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video.